that, I will yield one and a half minutes uh, to my colleague from Texas, Representative Sheila Jackson Lee. The gentlewoman from Texas is recognized. I'm on the, uh, let me thank the gentlelady as well. I, I'm on the floor again, holding up the Constitution, which should not be eliminated for the fighting force of Americans who have been declared by nations around the world as the strongest, most powerful fighting force in the world. And whatever my friend says on the other side of the aisle, I have no basis for his statistics. No one has undermined the force of the men and women. Let me pay tribute to them. Equal protection of the law says, basically, a health care issue is a health care issue. Trans people have health care issues. Trans children have health care issues. It is an outrage that we should deny Americans who want to die on a battlefield the right to get TRICARE. TRICARE, maternal mortality, black maternal mortality, is more prone to African American women. Should they be in the military denied because they have uh, a black maternal mortality more apt to have babies that die? No, they want to die on the field too, or they want to be able to wear the uniform. And so I have never been able to understand how you can deny people health care. It is health care. Let me say it again. It is health care. And for trans children, it is more your denial, uh, your uh, denunciation, your contempt, your hatred that drives any to do anything toward themselves. It could be a heterosexual and you condemn them and they may be are prone to suicide. This is not apt to those who happen to be trans. Please, I beg of this floor, the do not pass time, these amendments the because time the Constitution will be trampled on. Healthcare, the Madam Speaker, time is, is healthcare.